From the beginning, it is imagined that the shuttle can build a space station. Yet for the first 20 years, the shuttle is never used for this purpose. This changes in the late 1990s. Building on the success of the Shuttle Mir program, the United States partners with Russia and other countries to build an international space station. The station is so large, it must be sent into orbit one module at a time for assembly. Russia sends up the first component, Zarya. The first US module, Unity, is loaded onto the Shuttle Endeavour. This new international era in space starts with a bit of magic. There's a picture Red Huber took. It was a rainbow over uh, Endeavour sitting out on the pad. And, and I have to share a little private story. My daughter and I are real Wizard of Oz aficionados. We launch, you know, then that night everything went absolutely perfect. We're on orbit, and uh, the wake-up music uh, for the, our first day on orbit was Judy Garland singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And man, it, it brought tears to my eyes. And I always tell folks, somewhere over the rainbow, dreams come true. Because we launched over that rainbow that night, and, uh, and that was a dream flight, and everything went absolutely perfect. Two station components, built in two different countries, meet for the first time in space. The shuttle robot arm does the heavy lifting, and a series of spacewalks finishes the job of connecting them together. I was fortunate enough to be assigned to the very first assembly flight. Um, which uh, was a tremendous feeling for me to be uh, in at the very ground floor and basically laying the cornerstones of the International Space Station. Over many missions, piece by piece, the shuttle brings up station components. More laboratories, solar arrays, and segments of the enormous station truss, the backbone of the station. The station becomes the largest spacecraft ever built. The station was humongous. The size of two football fields, eight habitable modules, six people permanently inhabiting. It's, it was a living laboratory that we walked in with people inside, with life, with stuff everywhere. It was humongous compared to what it had seen before. As a final mission for the space shuttle, building the International Space Station may be the most lasting achievement. So the space station would never have been possible without the space shuttle. It's a phenomenal accomplishment you know, when you consider not just the engineering of it. I mean, here's hardware from around the world that comes together in space, is put together and works for the first time. But the cultural differences between, you know, Japan, ESA and all its partners, the United States, Canada, Russia, and, and we're all working together as one. And that, that is really a, a fantastic model and a, a great model for the future when we eventually explore beyond our home planet.